next guest says that the NASDAQ is in a bear market, could even be heading lower. How much lower? Here with some answers is Mark Minervini. He is the chief investment strategist with Quantech Research Group. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. When we say lower, let's first of all give you an opportunity to just really characterize this market. This isn't anything new that you've been saying. You've been talking about it this way for a while. Yeah, for a few months now, uh, we've been negative on particularly the NASDAQ. Um, I think currently uh, investors could actually get unsettled even more because I think Oracle, EMC, Cisco, some of the Nokia, some of these favorite uh, big cap NASDAQ stocks that uh, have been holding up quite well, I think they're going to give way now. And I think that's really going to unsettle investors. and Because um, uh, right now I think investors are very complacent and uh, they really think that buying the dip is okay here. And I think we may have to have another move down to uh, shake uh, those people out. When you talk about complacency, that's very important because so many analysts are saying, you know, the tone is changing and investors maybe needed a little bit of a wake up call because maybe they had had just a little bit too much froth and anticipated too many returns just being the usual, the norm, which it has been, that they need to kind of rethink that. You know, well, I think to give investors really a wake-up call, you need time. As a, you know, In addition with price movement, uh, you need time. I think the longer that the market stays down, the more it would um, cause investors to uh, maybe change their opinion and put in a bottom. I think it's been only a short period of time. Very few bear markets, um, if any, have uh, bottomed in this amount of time. And also, uh, bottoms don't usually happen in a V fashion where they just come straight down and go straight up. They take some time, they back and fill. Um, and we're not seeing a lot of stocks right now that really have put in bottom. So it leads us to believe that at best the market's going to move sideways over the next four or so weeks. I'm looking right now at the NASDAQ. Uh, the NASDAQ is down 115 points at 36.69, uh, still above the day's low. But when you look at this, why is the NASDAQ down? You give us your thinking with regard to this. Well, I think that um, once again, the, uh, the bigger cap NASDAQ stocks like the Oracles and Microsoft, and they account for a big percentage of the NASDAQ. So those stocks, if they give way here, they can actually plunge the NASDAQ into uh, new lows. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that uh, you know, those stocks right now are, are the most that are at immediate risk. And as I look at the Dow, which is down 214 points, nearly 2% on the day, how much has AT&T's warning uh, caused this downdraft for the Dow? Well, I don't think any one company really can cause a great deal of, um, uh, of pressure on the overall market or the economy. However, we have AT&T, we have Microsoft that's had a problem here. So there's been a few, uh, a few disasters, um, if you will. And uh, I just think that uh, the overall market's in a bear market uh, because of overall valuation levels and interest rate movements, not because of any one company. And you think it's clear that the Fed is on a tightening course? I think so. I think they'll tighten until the economy slows to a satisfactory level. And I think real GDP, anywhere around 5 or 6%, is too fast for the uh, stock market. It's uh, historically been bad for the stock market. And because you're negative on the market, no picks right now. No picks right now. Okay. Come back. We'll talk again. Okay. Thanks so much, Mark Minervini, the chief investor.